Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Anushka Vare. I'm a prophetess for the most high and a post-Christian content for the chosen ones. Thank you for returning to my channel. Thank you for everyone who has been supporting this channel. I'm so happy to have you here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about what does it mean to have a light? What does it mean to have a light? So the Bible says, I'm gonna start off with scripture. The Bible says that God is light. It says God is light and we know from science that all of creation is made up of light as well. There's different light spectrums and, you know, different types of light and that confirms, you know, science is confirming the word because God's glory is throughout all of creation, right? Um, so therefore er all of creation is light. God is light. God is everywhere. You see, it makes sense. So it's God's light that shines through us as well. It says in the book of John that um, the the word was God and God is the word of God and the light of men was was um, in in us which is God so the light that that men shine that comes from God you know we're not shining this light by ourselves we're not doing it from our own strength it's because God is emanating through us it's also God's way of rewarding good behavior this is my personal view and showing others what good, beh good behavior is what godly behavior is when you see someone with a light it's because you know they have a positive effect on people and that they have been walking in righteousness it says in the word of god let your light shine before men you are like a lighthouse you stand out amongst darkness and you show people the way as a light so what does it mean to have a light? You act as a source of inspiration and hope. Being a light means that you are a fountain of wisdom and you are a muse. You are a muse for many. So let's think about the opposite. What does it mean to not be a light? What does it mean to be the darkness? To be someone who has a darkened light? If being a light is everything positive, then being the darkness means the reverse, AKA not being the way to go or being in ignorance, living in hatred, being foolish, not being a worthy influence. That's someone who is not a light. But we're called to let our light shine before all men by the good works that we do because of the light that God has given to us that they might see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So you're shining so that people can say, wow, isn't God good? Wow, isn't there a God? Wow, God is real. That's the purpose of your light to shine. And like I said, light in science um, is described as having different colors. You know, white light has um, a multitude of different colors like the rainbow, right? We know that the rainbow belongs to God. And um, we see multiple colors as well in Joseph's coat, in Joseph's coat of many colors. And some people interpret his coat to mean his colorful aura or his vibrant light, which I found really interesting too, to reflect on. People shine bright uh, when they have pure hearts and when they're living in righteousness. Oftentimes people don't realize that they're shining or that they have a light because um, people will notice it more than you will and they'll often tell you so maybe you've had people tell you you know oh you're shining you're glowing you know you have a light to you and it also stems from it comes from your joy the joy of the heart you know your heart is the thing that is emanating that light as well so um, when you're happy when you're joyful you know that's when you know people start to glow and they start to radiate because you know something innate within us we know that we're meant to be joyful we know that we're meant to be that's god's will for us to rejoice always and to always be in thanksgiving as the word of god says and now there are people who possess false light people who do demonic things to access the light but they're thieves and they're robbers like the word like the word of god says jesus says those who try to enter the sheepfold in a different way they're thieves and robbers so possessing the true light is a gift from God, but it comes with a burden to bear because people will often look at you and notice you when you don't ask for it. You know, you will draw a lot of attention to you because of this light that you have. 
and a lot of us are actually persecuted harassed and attacked because of our light the light that we shine you know people will hate on you people will um you know feel convicted because of you um you know and such things like that i want to remind you that your light is truly what makes you beautiful it's your inner essence it's your flair it's your inner radiance your god spark the light that god gave you specifically no one can take it from you it's a very sacred and special thing and like i said again we are called to shine our light so go forth today and shine your light shine bright keep your head up keep your chin up walk straight and walk proud be happy with the light that you have been given from god because it was specifically given for you I hope this goes out to whoever needs to hear it today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you call the light? What do you define the light as? I'd love to hear. And if you feel led to sew into my ministry, you can do so with my PayPal and Stripe links down below. Or if you wanna to sew to my monthly, um, sew into me monthly as a tithe, as a monthly tithe, you can do so with my Patreon. And my Instagram is also in my description box too. Thank you for watching until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.